for this I was born. Good. You're not going to want to miss this episode. A lot of people struggle teaching their dog a stay whereupon both distance and time are extended. And may I tell you, this is not for the faint of heart. And for sure, it is not for children. So kiss them on their forehead as you tuck them into bed because this is some grown folk shit. I have an unorthodox approach to training, but watch, I show you how effective my training program is. And test it. Test it and see if my methods, once applied, especially the good word theory, don't prove themselves in your dog's performance. And then it really doesn't matter what the whole vast world full of trainers will tell you. You put yourself in the mindset that I'm trying to teach you and you apply the theories and the laws and you and your dog will live a full and wonderful life in this world of Caesar. Bless you all. Good, 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 good. For this I came into the world. For this I was born. Good. I've known this gentleman, Gilbert Sanchez, for a while now. At the end of last summer, he started cutting my lawns. For a little while, he was unable to continue cutting my lawns because somebody had stolen his trailer and all of his lawn equipment from a fenced-in yard, may I tell you? Through the help of his daughter and family members, he was able to get back a good portion of what was stolen to him. My name is Erwin Valderamos. I'm the dog messiah. I'm the lover of dogs and persons. Watch, For I show you. I came into the world. amazing. Wow, fantastic. What a, what a stark contrast. Nice and clean. Don't fuck with Texas. Look at this. All of it. The church grounds. Oh my God. Feels opulent now. Thank you. Again, your name is Gilbert Sanchez, yeah? Yes, sir. All right, and you're doing landscaping. And what people don't realize, I've known you for a while, but more importantly, for a little while there, you were unable to cut lawns because all your shit got stolen. All your equipment, for real, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so now you've managed to get more of your equipment back through the help of family. And awesome. And there's some stuff that you're still hoping to save up for to recuperate, yeah? Little by little, but it's all coming. So listen, you did a wonderful job. What is it that you said again it was gonna run me? $60. Okay, holy shit, $60 for all of this? Damn, I tell you what, can you tell me which person is on a dollar bill that is not a president? Benjamin fucking Franklin, all right? Benjamin fucking Franklin, and guess what? He's smiling at you. That's good. Like he wants to give you a big fucking hug, all right? All right. So you're gonna get yourself a hundred dollar bill and I got something else for you. All right. All right, all right good. Check this out. Trey, will you do the honors, please? Got a little something for him in there and a little something for you. Oh, Hold the back, please. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir, but look. Will you take this out and then there's something in there for you? Now I know you like to go home, Gilbert, especially now these trying times, read scripture and everything, but today, please, I'd like for you to make a little Make an exception. We just sure. try to at least have a couple of them for me, please. All right, thank you. All right very, very good. And then for you. These, I don't <laughs> use these no more. What? You got a girlfriend. That's specifically why I got them for you. You're going to soon be wife. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Well, donate them to the poor. All right. No, you keep them in trouble. All right. Well, listen, you got some flowers for her. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. You got some flowers for her, yeah? All right. Bless you. Right, thank you so much. All right. Check, all right. Call them out. You guys need gone. No place better, yeah? Bless you all. Good, good, good. Good. Okay. Week after week, this dog is getting bigger and bigger. I tell you the truth. You're going to have to just have faith in me, yes? This video doesn't do justice to how big and thick this dog is. Look at that stance. It's not even a, it's not a hot day today. And he's already drooling in anticipation of what's to come. Look. So, we have a problem here, yes? And the problem is a good problem to have. The problem that we're having, that this dog is yet to come for his, even of his first week of lodge and learn with us. He's gonna be with us for three weeks. But the problem that we're having is that they are overachieving like hell. So we gotta go out of our way to challenge them. If there's no conflict, if there's no struggle, then you don't grow. Intelligence isn't required if there aren't any problems to solve. Keep that in mind, yeah? Oh, nice. Okay, so 
really quickly. You notice how right now when all those sounds were happening, you didn't look at the sounds? That's a very good thing for people to realize. If every time you hear a noise, your dog hears a noise, you turn your head in that direction, then you're gonna end up with a dog that has what I good down call bobble head syndrome. Do me a favor, sir. Walk away from him, extend your leash out, and walk away as I talk, yes? I'm leaving him there. Bam! Oh, no, 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 you go put him back. He's just testing your faith. And I would have put him right back where he was at. Because listen, you need to be able to walk away like that. You drop the leash, you walk away, you didn't tell him to heal, you didn't touch him. Yeah, you didn't put him in the downstay. Uh, he went there, so. He went, yeah, right. amen. So guess what? And luckily you got drool to guide you. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you this, yeah, look at that drool. Now, I gotta nitpick the ever living shit out of you, okay? Yeah. Because you're achieving. So, a couple of things that I would do differently. Go ahead and drop your leash and walk away from him now. Walk and just walk away. Couple of things, oh look, yeah. Oh, he's testing your faith. Good, okay, couple of things that I would do differently, okay? For sure, when I walk back, when I walk my dog back. Oh, you're interested in dog training. When you walk your dog back, I would not let him get back to my left. Okay. Because he kind of the reason that he made a mistake right there, he kind of really did in this, he's thinking he's back at your heel. So look, apply pressure. Just because that leash comes off, gets dropped, doesn't mean it's time to get up. So you see the lesson that you're teaching him here right now? Go ahead and drop it, make it. So listen, with most dogs, you don't want to make it obvious that you're dropping the leash. Yeah, he's very aware anytime. But guess what? It's okay for that to be the case with him because you're teaching him that you don't need that leash. And I tell you the truth, I'll do it for you if you won't do it. But if that, if as he is scratching, if he manages to pop that collar off, which is completely possible, dogs know how to do it. I've seen it happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check to see how tight it is, yeah? After a little bit. If he were to knock that collar off and started hauling ass, I'm gonna try to tackle him. I'll snatch his ass for you. If you don't snatch him, I will snatch his ass. You see what I mean? That leash is my way of being kind to you. That's all it is. That leash prevents me from showing you my real power. So he's gonna fucking learn. No offense, yeah, I'm not mad at him either. I actually love, oh, damn. Look at that, he ain't catch it out of the air. There you go, calmly, sir, walk over there. Good, perfect, apply pressure. That's beautiful, he's not even afraid of you or nothing. Now extend your leash out and walk away from him. Just let the leash go now, good job, perfect. So see right now you're just teaching him temperance. Good job. Oh shit, I got, I know, I know he likes me, but shit scared me. Fucking big. Good job, sir. Taking him back. Now the next time, go ahead and apply pressure right there, put him more or less back where he's at. You're gonna say the dreaded N-word, no. Nine. Nine, oh nine. shit. Oh Six shit. Nine. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. So this is the thing, it's because his name. No, 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 your daughter's name is Noah. Yeah. And I think I mentioned this in the last video, but just in case I didn't, I want you to understand something. I had an epiphany. You know why? His daughter's name is Noah. So they hear her, him, they, he, he hears them call out for her and he might think that he's getting punished. So we have to change it, we're using nine. No, you're doing nine. Nine, okay. So nobody's counting their fingers at home, okay. Nine, perfect, right? So look, good, good, good. So that's what you have to say this time, yeah? Good stay, handsome, my love. Good stay, my love. That dog's thick. Nine. Oh, there you go. Nine. Start walking towards him. Good, good, good. Good. Say it again. Nine. Now, walk, keep, walk. good job. Good now, what have said good sit? Now grab and, and yank, snatch, pop. Per perfect, take him back. You're a little pissed off, okay? You're a little pissed off. I mean, not really, but you just gotta play the role. You gotta pretend like you're a little pissed off, okay? Extend your leash out and drop it. Perfect. And this is a lot for him, okay? And you see how you're walking around? I wanna point this out. You see how he had, and I don't even know that I told you this, but there before I, he turned around, which everything you're doing is perfect, he had his left shoulder blade pointed in the direction of the dog. May I tell you? That's such an important, pivotal technique. If I didn't teach you that, it, it, it confirms what I said to you earlier, natural, good, natural instinct. Nine. 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 Good, perfect, perfect. Yank, pop, 
Bam, 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 good. Keep harassing him, taking him all the way back, quickly. Apply pressure. Now, there's a lot for him, yeah? Because, I mean, hell, he's been sitting there a long time. Good job. Extend the leash and walk away from him. And see, after you place him in that sit, I would try to move away from him as quickly as possible. Because to me, it kind of seems like he likes that little interaction. He likes that little delay because he's kind of looking at you like, hell yeah, boom. So he doesn't get it twisted. So he doesn't think for one moment that you are in any way happy with that bullshit. Okay. So I got to remember he got a kid at home. Somebody please think about the children. So this is the thing, okay? It's keeping your left shoulder blade towards your dog when you walk around them as you circle them makes them feel as if you're ready and in a weird way you want them to get up so that you can pounce on them and snatch them with the glory of heaven, okay? So, you put your, if you walk a dog, if you're walking around a dog and you got your right shoulder blade pointed towards the dog, it makes the dog think that you're being defensive. If you're ever in the forest or the woods, the wilderness, and you get surrounded by a pack of wolves and they're circling you with their left shoulder blade, they're assessing you. They're watching you. If they're circling you though with their right shoulder blade towards you, you're fucked. Nine, good. Nine. That's okay, good job. Take them right back. You're doing good. Now this is not a very kinetic training session because look, 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 perfect sir. But he got up, he's testing your faith. All these things are good. Understand what I said. We're gonna challenge him. I don't want him to be doing good on video. Yeah. I want him to do good at home. He's been doing good at home though, so people know, yeah? yeah? Been doing excellent with the throw chain on the couch. Yeah. Been doing excellent, excellent behavior. But let me tell you something. If you were a lesser handler, I would be telling you that you fucked up when you dropped the leash because you didn't turn your body and apply pressure. Okay. But guess what, nine. But because you are handling the ever-living, stop, come, step on the leash calmly. See right there? Yep, he yep. wants to play with you. So look. But this is perfect. Nine. Good, 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 good. Handsome. Good, 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 good. Handsome. Good, 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 my love. Handsome. Good, 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 my love. Handsome. Oh shit, yeah. Nine. No, sir. Okay, let me go get the chain. Oh, almost. Okay. This is perfect. And then look, this is what I do. I just does that. Nine. Oh, we're about to make this shit happen again. Oh. Good. Good. Handsome. Good, 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 good. So look, look how I'm gonna handle it. I don't, don't want to be doing this shit to your dog, okay? Yeah. Hell yeah, we, I gotta move the chain. After so Step into him, please. He's like, uh... Yeah, that's awesome, though. Yeah. But that, listen, that's what you have to work on. Yeah. And may I tell you, so we should... Because he's not likely to run off from you, yeah. that's a good thing. But you can also do it in the... In, if you're, so for somebody at home that's nervous about this happening and their dog running off, because their dog... He has a small radius. Yeah, he'll run. Yeah, he, he stays he's close to you. Yeah, yeah. Fight. He's not trying to run away. He wants you to chase him. He exactly. wants to play. He wants to wrestle. Exactly. But you can do it in a yard, a fenced-in yard. But guess what? We're about to stop that. We're going to try to make that shit happen again. Tell him to go bananas, please. Give him a little bit of break. I'm going to bring some water out for him. Okay. But we're about to stress him, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Don't drop the leash. Give him some water. I'll be right back. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Did he drink some water? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's let him drink a little bit more then, all right? Good water, my love. And then, you know, if you didn't, when he was drinking water, I would tell him good water. Because this way you can make him drink water even out of your hands from a bottle. He'll understand the act of drinking water. You see what I mean? You can build a vocabulary with the good word theory. That's just the foundation and the basis. Do you, do you think we should give him good potty? You, so right there, he's just marking. He's not, not really urinating. He's marking, which is a good thing. Oh, my God. Not only is he beautiful, but look. I don't know if he's going to be available for stud, but he's still got those beautiful testicles. Good, good, good. So what do you think, sir? Do you think he's ready to work again, or do you want to give him a few more minutes? No, you should be good. You ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready now, too. Usually I give like a five minutes. Hell yeah, so you think he's you think he's ready? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. He should be tired, so this exercise, in theory, should be a little easier because he he just got the zoomies on us. Yeah, exactly. So that's all that happened. He just got the happy fucking zoomies at the wrong time. He does investigate things. So another thing, sir, the good word theory, okay? Whenever he gets to sniffing things, tell him, good, search it. Okay. Or good search. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Dude, that way, listen, every behavior that you notice, 
about him? Why not? Do you understand what I mean, man? He walk around vehicle, he starts sniffing. Good search, good search. Boy, those kids are gonna grow up scared about that dog. Can't mess around. That dog can smell everything. You know what I mean? Use it to your advantage, yeah? Everything that you're doing, and really quickly, earlier when we heard the sirens, the other point that I was going to make is if you do happen that catching yourself, if you happen to catch yourself looking in the direction of what the dog looked at, then use it to your advantage and say, good look. Okay. You see what I mean? As you look in that direction. Now, you can also say good look if the dog makes eye contact with you. Okay. So if you're gonna be saying good look uh, when he stares at something because you're hoping to train a guard dog to watch somebody, then you know I would probably use like pass off and look, keep it to whenever he makes eye contact with you. For anybody out there watching, when your dog makes eye contact with you, say good, look, yeah? So the dog understands that when you say that, you want him to look at you, okay? Let's go ahead and bring him right back over here, please. And we're just gonna wait until he kind of relaxes. You're not gonna put him on command. Keep in mind that that whole exercise, he really wasn't even under command. Yeah. We're just teaching him to fixate himself, okay? So we're just gonna give him a little bit of time. Shit, there's a lot of activity right now. That's good. Okay, step in on him and apply pressure. You see this person is coming out? Perfect. That's perfect. Perfect. Do you know why it's important to do that? Because he's not paying any attention to you. He's all completely fixated on that guy. So see, with me, if, if that's Esau and he's standing there, and the moment he sees me step to him, oh, he's going to start sitting because he sees that I'm coming. So take, look for those opportunities. I know at first, and I know you didn't do it because I also said let him alone, let him some free time, but that's, that, that's exactly where it's at, yes? So listen, again, nonchalantly, without giving him a command, you're gonna step away from him without touching him, anticipating that he's going to rise, and you're gonna sit him back down, okay? You ready? Move away from him. Oh, well, fuck, he made a liar out of me, okay. Now, we were tossing the ball around, yeah? But hopefully, we get to do something a little differently. Daddy gets to toss this fucking chain around. And he has experience with the chain, yes sir? He's been using it at home judiciously. Responds to it now, yeah? yeah. Very well? He knows it. Hell yeah, he heard that little drop. He, he, heard, he heard it, all right, he knows. Sometimes I don't even have to, I just. Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So you, okay. I gotta get that demon out of here. Listen, if everybody needs to know this, okay? If you have to think of reaching for the no, sir. He's nervous about that chain, though. He heard it, okay? So guess who's not going to get the zoomies because they're going to be too nervous if they fuck up. There you go. But may I tell you, if you think about the chain and you reach for the chain and you pick it up, okay. follow through with the toss. Okay. Because if you don't, then he just thinks that he can manipulate you out of doing it. Gotcha. He might think that he raised his eyebrow and looked at you in just that right way that made you feel compassion and pity. No compassion. He made the mistake. You have to treat situations like they're dire. And I know that when he got the zoomies on us right now, it wasn't dire, he has a small radius. He's not gonna go into the street. He's just playing. But guess what, time and place. What if you were downtown and there was only three feet of wiggle room? So you gotta treat it bad. So that's why we got this chain and he already knows the chain. So if he hadn't, if he didn't know of the chain yet, this would be a silly, silly exercise. The other thing is, if he didn't have a small radius, this is a bad exercise. I want you to understand that if you try this at home, so sir, if we were at your house and you tossed this chain, there's every bit of possibility that he would run to you, run to another family member, or try to run back into the house. Uh, I've only done it in the house. Yes, sir. But do you see what I mean? He'll either... so in this context, you're his safe zone. Yeah. I'm willing to bet. Unless you think differently, tell yeah. me. Yeah. But I think that if you, if he were to run right now and you toss that chain, he's hauling ass to you. Yeah. That's what my dogs would do, okay? So, you wanna take it? I don't wanna toss the chain at your dog. All right? Dude, if he doesn't get up, I have to bring a dog out here, okay? And I'm not, I'm not fucking moving, I'm, I don't, damn. You to say nine Ooh, when you toss it, yes sir. Okay, look, perfect. It's okay, let the ball go, yeah? But be ready, so ignore the ball. Good. Okay. Timing. Next time, the moment he rises, and you're going to say it, you have to kind of say it a little ugly because he doesn't understand that it's a negative right now. He might think that's his nickname. 
Okay? And it's not his nickname. No. Perfect, Dad. Perfect. Good. Praise him. Good. Good job. Correct him. Nip right there. Nip right there. Pick the chain up on the way out. Perfect, sir. Man, that was perfect, dude. Your timing is on point. I love that. Oh, thank God I'm not doing that to your dog. I hate doing that shit to the dogs. Okay? I don't like punishing the dogs. I just want to gather them with affection and acknowledgement. That's why I love training with him because that's daddy. It's okay for daddy to do that kind of spanking, boy. Man, you were on it, boy. Bam! I love it. Yeah, you must have played football or something, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Dude, you got... Yeah, be careful. Now listen. Oh my God, hold on. Hold on. No, I'll pick the ball. Okay, hold on. You're not making sounds with that chain, huh? No. Okay, damn. He's really paying attention then. Okay. I, I'm so I'm too far away. I couldn't hear it, but it looked like you're not making sounds with that chain. No, I got it tight. Nice. Okay, nice, nice. Good job. But listen, he's less likely now to fuck up like that. Okay. Because he knows what's up. You just tossed that chain. Okay? And it's, it sucks. It sucks, okay? Because he's yeah. really not under command. He's a good dog. You came out here singing his praises. And what did I tell you? Well, now we got a problem on our hands because we got to challenge him because you're above. I mean, you're, 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 you're doing amazing. Your, your handling is above and beyond good, good, good. And again, like I tell him all the time, I'm not trying to sell him anything. He's already purchased. He couldn't pay me for more time with his dog. He doesn't need it. Good stay. Oh, shit. Okay, good. So see, part of the reason that, so, oh my God. Dude, what a perfect throw. I didn't play football, but I got a little something, something. All right. <laughs> oh, look, it even came back to me, dude. Oh my God, like a pull trick shot. He did amazing. Now, I just got to nitpick the ever living hell out of you, yeah? yeah so, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, you, you moved preemptively. Yeah. So good you, down. Good, good down. Good, good. I wouldn't have made that move, number one. Yeah. And then when you moved, I did hear that chain a bit and he heard it too. So that's why he jostled. So it is very important that minutia, those tiny details are so important because this dog is sharp. When you have a smart dog, people think, oh, you're gonna have an easy time training my dog because he's smart. That's not true. A smart dog is like a double-edged sword. I gotta handle myself better with that dog. That motherfucker can cut me from both sides. Do you see what I mean? Gotta handle it gingerly. So you gotta know what the fuck you're doing, okay? Now, dad, good. That's just what's up, dude. That's what's up. I can't believe it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like bringing my dog out here, but because you think he'll rise? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, but he can't. And listen, when you toss that chain, my dog might get scared too. It's all right. You don't got shit to be afraid of. Have faith. If she gets scared right now, then I'm glad she got scared because she's gonna have a good day and she knows there's nothing to be afraid of. So we're not even trying to make him afraid. The dog just has to understand that you're ready to go five stars on that ass at Grand Theft Auto. You mess up, there's five stars coming. I'm coming. Good, good, good. Oh, hold on. That's my lawn guy, yeah? But you didn't, he didn't text me. He's really good about not letting me know he's coming, okay? What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 all right. Crazy, dude. <laughs> he's really good about that shit. Gilbert Sanchez, yeah, you're in the... Houston, League City area, check him out. Look, his phone number's right there, okay? All right, good, good, good. All right. Yeah, good, 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 good. So listen, you all right with that? Or you? So listen, if I was training him by myself, I wouldn't stress him anymore, okay? okay. But you're his dad. So if you want to stress him, I'll, I'll stress him. You all right with stressing him? Yeah. Okay, good. Go ahead and kind of get away from him. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut. Nope. If he gets up, you're going to toss that chain at him. Gotcha. You see what I mean? And you can stand there and just watch him and praise him. Dude, if he nails this, you got to stop and get him some chicken nuggets or something from Wendy's. He needs something. Have you started doing the chicken thigh leg quarters? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you don't want to do that on the way home because you got like an hour drive, E. coli. But when you get home, boy, bam. Also got a, what's it, uh, humorous. Oh, nice. Shit, okay. All right, man. Let's see what happens, okay? Just like I told that lady. Did you Hexic. Woman, thou art loose. Oh. Oh, he didn't get up. He didn't get up. That's a real dog. Listen, so before, see, before he cut, he would have busted loose on us, huh? Yeah, it's called flight. Yeah, yeah. But see how we caught it that one time? Yeah. It's a, listen, it's, a, it's an answer to a prayer to have a dog mess up. 
We need the dog to struggle. And I tell you, I think she's in sweet, sweet estrus. Okay? She's old as hell though. Yeah, awesome. Good upset. All right. Hexic. You ready? Hexic. Oh, good fit. Good stay. Holy shit. Holy shit. You can't let the kids watch this one. <laughs> Fuck that, okay? I'm too pumped up, dude. You got me, you got me, you got me in my feelings, okay? Hexic, let's go, baby. If he holds it, dude, you gotta walk up to him. Hold on, dude. I got goosebumps. Holy shit. Good, baby. You did so good. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta catch that moment. Step next to him, please. Oh my god. Power. Yeah. Love on him. Holy shit. Now tell him to go bananas. Holy shit. Listen, on the way home, stop, get him some nuggets. Let him check his P-mail in one or two spots without making him do anything. Pull over. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll bring him out with her. Yeah, real quickly so we can sniff her. Good. Hexic. Good. Hexic. Hexic. Good, good, good. No, ma'am. Hexic. Good. Good, 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 baby. Good, good, good. You're intimidated by him? Good. Good, good, good. Awesome, huh? Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and paw the bell so you'll be notified <laughs> the next time he comes out and brings power to the people. Yes? If you can comfortably afford dog training, by all means, do look us up. We take limited dogs for a lodge and learn, but there's no place better. We also offer phone consultations, virtual classes. A lot of times those just talking about the theories is enough to solve any problem behavior that you're having or help you get on your way to be able to solve it. If you haven't already, check out our Instagram stories. We update them daily, and I have a TikTok and all that shit, okay? Bless you all. Wow, unbelievable. Good, 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 good. So be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Instead, you must be still. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be silent. And as with all things, when you do it, you must be intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I will spew you out. Be it that ye are either hot or cold. But because thou art lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't accomplish shit in this world if you're tepid and timid. You must be intense about everything that you want. Set yourself on fire and the world will follow. You are called to dominate the earth. Bless you all. Man, fuck. Constantly. She didn't even see. I don't know where the fuck actually dropped that ball at. Fucking hate looking for these fucking balls. Good shit. I'll tell you what. Maggie, find it. Good find it. Good find it, baby. Good find it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, man. Don't be lazy. Pick it up. Maggie, pick it up. Good. Maggie, pick it up. Good pickup. Pretty. Awesome. Good dog.